Hello, 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 hello. How is everyone today? We are going to be playing <clears throat> uh, Ghosts in the Deep. It is uh, uh, the Ghosts in the Deep, uh, I believe the title is. And it's uh, thanks to the guys over at um, Prime Chaos Games that uh, I'm actually doing today's stream uh, about, <laughs> about this new shmup. I don't really know. Um, much about the game or its development, but I'm very excited to give it a shot. Uh, I did test it a little bit earlier just to see if I had a controller support. But who knows if that actually turns out to, to work the way we intend. Um, I could have sworn it worked earlier. Maybe it's because... Oh, there it is. So we have control ability <laughs> um let's see here uh, options so i noticed in a lot of the the trailer footage or, or shared footage that the prime mechanic of the game is pulsing and shifting right if i'm correct so you have a regular blaster for the the, the ship to shoot and then you have um <clears throat> I don't know what it would be mapped to on the controller, but I'm going to figure it out. Uh, you have a pulse attack, which is like that little radi th this little radial sphere type thing, um, which is, it works like a time bomb, if I got that correct. And then you have the, the dash, the dash, which is like a, a regular dash. Now, I didn't quite understand what control in E for toggling to speed up the level necessarily meant. Is that a difficulty thing or, or what's the deal? Um, I got, I'll play on normal just to, to sort of makes the level scroll faster, right? So I noticed, okay. Oh, that's interesting. See, when I was playing before, ah, like, like, a, like a shift running type thing. Okay. So this controls like pretty smooth, I would say. Um, right, right, right. So like similar to how I think like in rhythm games we um, we sometimes want to play the music like faster or play the play through the song faster, so you can increase that as you get better. Um, so one main reason why you would definitely want to uh, use the pulse is because it it um, does more. That does more damage. It's a guaranteed kill if you can run the timer, but it also gives you more points. And as you know, in a shmup, like, points is all that matters. Um, what else? Uh, I was noticing earlier, and I'm thankful that it's not happening now, that I was having difficulties uh, using, like, the WASD to, to navigate my guy. For some reason, going up was not working so smoothly, but I'm glad it's working now. Um, obviously, this game is still in alpha, so as many bugs as appear are, you know, natural. Um, oh, see, I'm not even a, I'm not even a good shmup player. I'm, like, I just had a decent feel of the game earlier. Like, I didn't even progress past level one, I don't think. But, see, I, I think that pulse ability is a lot of fun to use because um like eh, maybe maybe think about it more like a bullet hell versus a regular shmup you you're always like weaving between bullets and, and getting really close to enemies so as a as a nearby pro like proximity clear it's very useful um but on the controller right here i'm not quite sure how to how to do the shift move and I think that's a very, like, important move to know right now. Uh, let's see. L2 speeds up a bit, right. R2 with it. Ah, I got it, I got it, I got it. It's not... Ooh, that's okay. So the restart, or space... I'll just hit space bars, okay. Um, right. So that happens. You know, you die, especially when I got distracted trying to figure out the controls, but, um, no problem. 
So on the original post. Yeah, 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 yeah. I figured it was mine. It's alright. Um they were just letting me know that the uh that the control like scheme uh slash um inputs uh are not yet put into the instructions of the the PC. Like I geez, I worded that very poorly. Like you can't read the control instructions on the screen yet, but that's, you know, fine. Uh, as long as it has good control support and not a lot of, like, jank lag or anything, which they've totally fixed up, which is, like, super great. Um, like, it is very simple to progress through the game, just shooting, I think, um, especially if you keep your multiplier high. Um, but it's a lot more interesting, I think, to to use this time bomb pulse type thing. That. And obviously, uh, on higher difficulties, you're probably going to have to use a soft mix of the two um, to get the most out of, or to survive even. My main thing is I, I'm so used to bullet hell type games, so I, I just hold down the shoot button and dodge. Um, which is not necessarily the the crux of this game i would not call it a bullet hell score attack is much much m more appropriate especially since right now um we're, we're just looking into like how to how to maximize your score basically um obviously if i wanted to just like dodge everything and focus on the dodging it wouldn't be so difficult I don't think so. Maybe it's because I'm playing on normal. I'll give I'll give insane a, uh, a good try after this just to see how how that works out in comparison. That'll give me a good like, measuring stick for for the difficulty curve of the game. Ah, yeah. So they were saying they added the blaster later on, uh, that this pulse here was the primary attack for almost the entirety of development thus far. And, uh, yeah. I was wondering about that, um, how, why I didn't see the blaster used too much. Uh, I definitely think having the blaster as like a weaker attack is, is um, a good explanation for why you would want to pulse more often. It, it encourages risky gameplay, which can also improve your score. Um, that's, that's definitely a thing. Um, one thing that probably would confuse people is like, see these whited out spaces are the transitions between spaces. Um, because I thought it was just a scrolling shmup at first, I spent like a lot of time just not, not going through them, thinking, oh, why is that part of the screen cut out? But obviously they're like fog doors. Sorry, that's a that's not an appropriate, you know, reference. But uh, like here, now where do I go? Is here? Is this, do I shoot these guys? Ah. Okay. Like I think you definitely have to have a little bit of uh, not a common sense, but like an exploratory component to the game. Um, sort of obvious from the outset if you want this yeah like a go or whatever that would that would harken back to more of like the the classic uh sort of retro roots of a shmup um if you add like an old timey like go noise maybe have somebody like cheaply voice it and then distort it to make it sound older that'd be kind of neat. So like I said before, I'm not really good at um, uh, the simple level complete and it gives you like a completion status of like how many enemies you missed and how many gems you collected. Uh, obviously all for score purposes. Um, so that was level one. Let's try level two, which I have not tried at all yet. Um, and maybe I'll bump the difficulty to hard. I don't know. <laughs> I like this basic graphic style. Um, there, 
there was a handful of mobile shmups, or at least one, at least one that I know of, that had um, a like vector sort of 3D effect that it used as the primary means of. This is interesting. Um, like we're kind of switching. I don't. I don't want to say switching polarities, but like switching polarities to gain access to different parts. Um. So there definitely is more of a navigational component. It's not like as on rails as some other shmups. Um, having that early on with no explanation might be confusing for some players, but uh, really, ooh, okay, that's fine. That was my bad. That was. But um, in general, I. I think the one mechanic that I've definitely not mastered is uh, is is dashing because because I feel like that could be used for some like really clutch uh, well timed dodging. Actually, what would be super neat if it was possible, and I'm not trying to influence development here, but uh, is if the dash created a slow motion effect, um, especially since. Uh, navigating with the dash is currently a little unwieldy. Like, see, I could do that, but that's only because my timing was really good. For to make the game more accessible, I would consider doing that. But that's it. That's all I'm saying. Oh boy. Oh boy. Wait, am I dead? Yeah, I'm dead. Do I have to? I should have backed up or moved faster. So. Obviously, I think the level, uh, like jump. Obviously, I bumped from normal to hard. Uh, was a little steep there, even for even if I didn't bump the difficulty. Because what uh, I think what the difficulty just changes is like number of enemies, maybe. The I'm mean, wait. Okay, so that's when the dash is most efficient. Um, yeah, like having a little slow mo effect to help like make that dash feel more not just fancy but um manageable uh might it might attract some other players it adds more enemies and lowers the health yeah like like this um i'm gonna try one more time and then if i can't pass this level on hard i'm gonna bump back down the difficulty and i think the, the best way to check again is to go back to the first level and play that on insane Maybe after I've tried all the other levels, that would be my goal here. You cannot rush into these areas without knowing what's going on. There's definitely that memorization component. Uh, yikes. Yeah. yeah, like maybe starting right here would be better. Uh, like in this middle space. It's really neat. It's not every... Not every day that you get to start, um, like, be a part of this development process and play the demo. I know a lot of Kickstarters, have, uh, they send out their demos and then players, uh, backers or whoever would, would um, just give their feedback in like a survey. But what, have it, having it happen live is also neat. So, let's, let's try this. No, no styling. Oh my god. Yeah, that was. Uh, I could have made it. That was my bad. That's definitely player error. Uh, let's see. I just. Is there a way? Yeah. So let's go back to the title screen, and then try that level again, but on normal, because I actually want to show off like, the entire level. No, I think the game has a lot. Uh, of stuff going for it right now, especially so early in the in the stages of development. I don't know how long you guys have been working on it, but oh, see, like the balls. Ah, that makes more sense. Like, so this isn't actually level two. This is just the the current version's level two. Um, that like along the way, I think in terms of level design, you want your players to like gradually pick up more difficulty and see the introduction of new enemy types and, and obstacles. Like these bouncers. My fault was obviously starting that level on hard. Yeah, I think I, I recommend to everybody that you start games on normal or easy the first playthrough, and then you bump up the difficulty 
in in uh, subsequent places. That would probably be more <laughs> well easier to get a hang of. Um, but yeah, all this near miss gameplay is a lot of fun. I I really am enjoying the the like incentive to to just be near enemies and putting myself at, at greater risk for a greater reward. Um, I think that was really well navigated. I, I think in the lower difficulties, the, the healths are... Not to say plentiful, but you know, they're... Enough that if you're not utter trash like my like myself sometimes, um, you could definitely get through a level without too much, too much worry. Like right there, you can tell this game isn't so much just the shmupy component. You kind of are moving along. So, I'm trying to talk and, and also play the game, it's tough. <laughs> That progression isn't so, like, it's linear, but it's also, like, more player player interaction. Let's call it that, because it's not like the player has a choice on how to go further, but they have to go further not just by, like, letting the screen scroll. So it becomes more about, like, the choices you're making in time, uh, which is good. So you're just watching guys blow up in in concession uh consecutive whatever. It is a lot of fun because they they create that little like chain mine effect if you could call it that. It it kind of gives off the impression to the player, "Oh, you know, you're actually getting you know, like a combo going." Um so yeah, I I was able to navigate through normal level 1 and 2. Try three. Uh, this early section here had a, uh, I mean, whatever's in this demo basically was given a play time of about 15 minutes total if you are just going through on one difficulty and whatnot. Um, I would say there's a lot to gain here um, if, since all the difficulties are already in. You can already start like setting high scores for yourself and, and challenging yourself to play better. Uh, I would definitely in like say this game is is good for um no blaster runs that's definitely a category that can be a thing uh especially since blasters are not necessary oh that's a neat enemy type it it reacts to these bombs that we saw yeah i can see how heavy the the, the um pulse is just it's like the co entire core of the game A lot of stuff going on, and I'm just like, oof. Oh, they tricked me. Or is that not supposed to happen? <laughs> I feel like that was a... Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to describe what that was. They were shooting gems at me. Yeah, they just tricked me. Okay. <laughs> That's so now that I kind of understand how the, this thing works, uh, I can do that a little bit better. You know what? Good, like random ideas are the best ones. Uh, so if I understand. Dan, correctly, that thing that looks kind of like a pacifier, does it give you more health or am I just like tripping? Because it looked like it was giving me a little bit more health. It's very satisfying to have a lot of explosions happening at once. Okay, but maybe too many explosions are to navigate. 
Okay, we good. That's only available if uh, attack with this on a higher difficulty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely still underutilizing that that dash. Okay, I was I was going nuts. No, like. Okay, so definitely don't don't pull back too hard if you see me struggling. It's because primarily because I'm like trying to talk and, and play at the same time. That's always a challenge. That's a <laughs> natural. And um, shmups are not my genre. Um, I think that the current difficulty, as long as it's set to normal, is good. This is good difficulty, not. Uh, Famously, not what is it? Japanese media has covered that Nio's difficulty was very bad. This is not bad. <laughs> um, yeah, we're good. <laughs> if you feel like you're seeing everyone struggle, that just means that the game is, in fact, difficult. It doesn't like. <laughs> This gets into that Sekiro discussion, right? Do we need? Does every game need an easy mode? Well, this game has an easy mode. Um, and are you like, you know, bad at games because you have to switch to easy mode? No. Some games just have a, you know, a higher threshold for what is easy and what is normal. Um, the fact that you guys included, you know, difficulty modes at all is fine. I think. Um, don't back down just because because players are having trouble. That's um, that's a mistake. I think you need to question whether or not pl players are getting a, a fair chance. You know what I mean? Um, like before, you you thought, oh, the the bouncers in that in the opening of that stage were kind of unfair, uh, even if it is hard. And I I would say, yeah, you spawn straight in there, and if you like, let's say a player was starting on hard mode, then that's that would be the trouble, right? Um, they would have to react faster and realize that they can't transition from um, different sections uh, haphazardly without paying attention to what's going on. Damn. <laughs> but le like I said, it's um, it's not too hard. <laughs> I'm just not focused right now. Uh, I would definitely pass pass this game along to, to some some people who, who make shoot 'em ups their their genre because then they'll be able to like navigate this perhaps better while talking about it than I can. Or, you know, alternatively I could just practice and then and then if you practice you can it's like a speed run. You you just it's muscle memory. Uh, there have been way way more games. Even 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 popular games like Toho are way more quote quote unfair in this regard. I think right now everything that has been on the stage is doable. I like that it I have the radius of their explosions so that way I know when I'm safe. You know, uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to focus on this run so I can actually get through and get the next section. One thing you can't forget about is um, after you've tagged somebody with your, your proximity bomb type thing, you cannot just forget that they're still alive because they're not dead for a good, I want to say, three seconds or so. 
Um, and that component is definitely like something that more experienced players will be able to pick up on right away, and the the ones who are starting for the first time and whatnot are gonna have to manage a bit more. the bombs a little bit early if you shoot them. Uh, if you're a real cool guy, you, you'll do everything just for I don't think every shmup needs a boss uh, if the level itself has enough interesting components, but I would be definitely interested to see a boss. Uh, or, you know, I, I think you've got a good variation of enemy types here. Um, and I'm assuming that the, the final product uh, will have more levels than, than four. <laughs> so this is obviously premature to be saying. I like these guys. Some, I don't know. Something about their design is just like a, very pleasing to to break. Okay, so yeah, the devs just said like uh, 70 plus levels in in the works. Uh, more than half of them done, uh, which is obviously very cool. Um, getting a lot of experience. <laughs> uh, So I noticed that the timings, timings for the, the bomb is slightly different depending on the enemy type. So that's another factor to consider. And because of how slow some, some things are, if you, uh, this, how slow the bomb is, if you don't watch your timing and your positioning, you are gonna, you, you might just be end up like ending up a little hose. Like you can dash through a lot of things. I would just say you probably can't dash through everything. It, somebody with like like frame perfect timing probably can, but that's not me. Um, as for polish that I would like ex expect from a game of this type. Uh, Maybe the one thing that I'm kind of craving is a little bit more of a confirm, uh, like feedback when I actually tag things. You hear a little bit of a sound, but I, I maybe wanted something a little bit more satisfying to, to show, oh yeah, I, I, I tagged this guy, he's gonna blow up now. Um, And the blaster gives you zero satisfaction whatsoever for, for shooting things, uh, aside from making me think, wow, if I was a, if I was cooler, I could have gotten, gotten through that without using the blaster. Um, but there's no, like, obviously there's no, like, hit spark or much, it's just like a flash. That's just another thing to, to note. Um... But of course, I'm at this point, you know, just nitpicking. I think you know, a lot of th things about this game feel very finished already, and I would not be surprised to have seen it in a final product. It's just things that I prefer when I'm playing uh, <laughs> uh, any video game, for that matter. You, you like feedback. Increasing volume of explosions while uh, while 
while I tag a bunch of those guys uh, is very satisfying. Because it makes me feel like, oh yeah, pulling off big combos. Um, I think the real trick to master probably is figuring out how to dash while while doing a, a pulse tag. Um, that's that's definitely the secret trick that um, a pro B ghosts in the deep player would know how to do. Uh, oh, so okay. Right now, we, what we have is about the closest thing I would I would say to a, to a boss. Uh, very simple bullet pattern, so it doesn't feel too bad, I'm sure, on the higher difficulties. But before I eat my own words, I'm gonna... Do to tag him? Oh, alright, alright. There we go. Things don't die if you don't tag him. At least something. Is the room fun or just tedious? That's a tough question because um, I feel like that enemy type does lend itself to slowing down the pace of the game. Uh, I don't think that's always a bad thing. But if somebody was doing a pulse only run, like I suggested, which is obviously not mandatory, although you can't really turn your ship or anything to shoot, so you have to pulse. These sections feel a little less like they're making use of like the game's mechanics or, and they're not, they're not really rewarding the player for getting this far. I, I think that uh, this enemy here is a lot more fun to deal with. And I'd rather just deal with him than deal with that little section where I'm just basically clearing uh, clearing space to go through. <laughs> if there was a fight or flight component to it, like, oh, players can choose whether or not to engage with that enemy or just not. That's a that's a different choice. Ah, I see. So it, it was just because normal mode doesn't have this. Right. Oh boy. This here, this here, I gotta say, is a little something because I I don't know if I can ooh, positioning much. spamming the tag to, to try uh oh am i greedy oh i'm greedy okay that's when the dash is absolutely necessary but um <laughs> i didn't i didn't want to go through the next section without having a little just one more mistake <laughs> you know life isn't life it's a mistake that you're you're, you're promised All right, this section here is much uh, smaller room to navigate, so obviously difficult, but you can probably... I wanted to see how much you can manipulate the, tor the turret to follow you, because then if you can do this, you force the turret to fire that way so you can move away, come back, maybe focus on having it fire this way, and then do that. And if you're really going for that speed run tech, you can probably dash to each corner really fast and just do, like, just clear everything while you're dodging. There we go. All right, so I believe, was that all the, was that all the levels? All right, um, let's go back to level one. Let's try that, uh, 
Oh, I'm sorry. I called it insane, but it is in fact deep. <laughs> um. So yeah, let's let's give a level one a, a a deep run. Deep. I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna do pulse only, but. <laughs> Somebody, somebody out there will eventually, when this game is out, have the deep pulse-only runs, and those are the guys that are gonna get the big Twitch following. Now I got this guy, whatever this this little sun dude following. Oh, you can tag him. Okay, so at least he wasn't invincible. If he was invincible and following me like 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 Mr. T, I would be uh, I, I'd be a little upset. <laughs> I would just be like very difficult. Sometimes you kind of wish the, char the the dash had its own little uh, charge component, but obviously that would make it a little bit more broken, right? So for, for, for balance purposes, I'm not condoning or encouraging that kind of thing. I think the current speed it's at is good. It's just there's no way for the player to like... Uh, at least a, a newer player to, to utilize it more efficiently if if there's no like uh, speed management component. Um, I, the fact that it's an infinite dash, like you, you, there's no cooldown on it or whatever, means it's good for high level play. But for for newer newer players, I would definitely say that's um, it's tricky. I like the speed that it's at because I I know when to take my my finger off the, the dash. Oh, am I dead? What happened? Oh, I'm just barely not dead. <laughs> and then I died. <laughs> so yeah, the, the full game says that this difficulty is unfair when I select it, but... Oh, so I was wondering why my... Okay, so in this difficulty, your health constantly drains, so... You're in the void. You're you're perishing, and and only the cool guy with the with the perfect timing is gonna be able to get through it. Which means health is such a such so much of a premium. So much. Oh, and that's tough too. See, it looks like the health doesn't go up a full tick. Um, that's. Oh, and every ten thousand points you receive health, so that definitely uh, promotes some higher level plays. Um, much more score getting. Um, if I had a better way of keeping my multiplier up, I feel like this would be easier to navigate. Maybe it's my timing, but uh, I definitely think that the multiplier drops really fast. That's my problem. And they randomly morph into tougher enemies if you don't clear up, so clear up. Ooh, alright. <sighs> I'm learning so much about the game. <laughs> um... Probably the way I want to play this is uh, give it maybe, hmm, I want to say two to three more shots if I can't clear this level this time. All right. See, I'm gonna. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna try to do is master the dash a bit more here and then see if that makes a difference. Of course, I can also just run through the level and not kill as many things. Of course, I, do that. I think the tough thing about those little sun guys is that they blend in with the environment really, really well, so it's uh, obviously kind of difficult. Also, what happens when you have graphics that are just like. Bunkers. Oh no. Yeah, uh, see, I don't even realize I'm hitting him. If I take my eyes off the screen for a second. But I'm glad that you don't die instantly when when the, the bar drops. So I'm gonna give it a, what is it? Yeah, two more goes. Get some more focus. As they say in HDQ and SGDQ, uh, it's serious time, no. 
No donations, please. <laughs> There is like one strat I noticed that might be kind of viable, which is waiting till your health drops um, in those areas where where you kind of can wait. Waiting till your health drops to the next bottom of the, the pip, and then you can grab the health bar because it only goes as far as the end of the next pip. It, it won't refill the next one unless you were perfectly on that line with the uh, with, with where the bar changes. Oh boy. Come on. My main like scare is I don't know when that little sun guy is going to spawn. Ah, okay. Health items give you 0.5 bar. I thought they give you a full pip. My mistake. I'm sorry. I don't want to be spewing false information about the game. I definitely think consistency is a uh, key here. I think with the dash as strong as it is, I'm really glad that there's no uh, collision damage for, for the environment. Because if there was, I would be crashing into walls and, and then you would really have to navigate that dash um, much more carefully. But not so, so. I will be using dash, at least against walls, a little bit more. Um, yeah, I see you. Get out of here. Those yellow guys are are tricky because I don't I did not see any damage going off on them. Yikes. Okay, come on, come on. Just the next session. Uh, here he comes. Okay, so you can see like he comes in and I'm guessing he's the ghost in the deep, personally, because he's the guy who comes out of nowhere and just ambushes you. So I got to the end of the level, even though I didn't win. I'm probably gonna call it there. I, you know what? If I gave it like two or three more tries, I could definitely win. But I, um, you know, I'm gonna call it here. That's that's it for me. Um. So yeah. Uh. Let's let's. <laughs> oh man. Uh. It's tempting to to go one more run. That feeling of wanting to do one more run is is a sign that the game is actually fun to play as opposed to not. Uh, all right, I was just one more, <laughs> just one more. <laughs> yeah, the, those guys are a real pain in the butt. Hey. Okay, yeah, they said give hard a run. I, I can, I can support that. <laughs> what kind of games do I usually stream? Um, that's a bit tough because I, I do enter that very vague category of um, variety streamer. So, like I play all kinds of games. Uh, I definitely favor um, older games over newer ones, but I will definitely, I'm trying to get around to playing like the latest releases and things like that. Um, so I played Kingdom Hearts 3, obviously, uh, everyone did, 
and I played a visual novel called Valhalla, um, and that was a lot of fun. And what else do it did I play? Um, lately, I played like Hotline Miami, and then a game that's very similar to it called Twelve is Better Than Six. So I I, I definitely don't shy away from the indies. I love them. Um, but I could not say I have a category. My, I have an anti-category. I don't. I try hard not to play um, lots of uh, competitive multiplayer games like League of Legends or or um, battle royales like Apex Legends or Fortnite uh, or PUBG. Uh, not because I don't enjoy them casually, but I'm not good enough as a competitive player. I don't love the games enough. I think. When you become a single game or single genre uh, streamer, you definitely need to love the game more. And I love too many games to want to focus on one type. That's my thing. Um, but I don't mind games that have this like sort of obsessive replay component to them, where you, you're like, just one more, just one more run, uh, because you can uh, you can actually perfect it, and it's not sort of variable like a there is RNG of course but it's not as wild and chaotic as having humans um, I also do like I have played rhythm games but I've never streamed them I think I'm that good either so compared to the deep run like it doesn't feel as bad to, to take a hit but you have less health that was a major component. Or, realistically, the bar doesn't look very different, but you know. Um, so, so what would you like to, uh, would you like to visit our Discord uh, and give feedback? Yeah, sure, I'll, um, I, I would I'd be happy to pop in your Discord. Uh, after I finish my stream, um, I plan on streaming a couple more games after this, uh, and then, yeah, just drop your Discord link, actually, if you want. Uh, I have no problem with that. I'd be happy to give some feedback and uh, what have you. Ooh, that was, that was a hit that I took on my own. Am I not getting... Ooh. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm definitely calling it. <laughs> that was it for me on that one. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, really appreciate that. Um, yeah. No, this was fun. I, I, I don't, I haven't in the past checked out Let's Play, uh, the Let's Play subreddit, so when game devs drop their stuff, but I'm trying to do that more often. Uh, I really want to support the indies. Um, so yeah, uh, actually I have the link to your Discord right here, don't I? Um, but for sure, uh, this is for all the guys that are going to check me out on the, the archive on YouTube. Um, check out V Ghosts in the Deep, or I guess you could call it V, right? Um, watch the development, these guys are definitely worth looking at. They understand uh, what, what makes a game unique within a genre. Because we have a lot of shmups, we have, and trust me, if you've been on like any mobile store, you've seen like really lousily, cheapy, cheaply made like Facebook game shmups, um, where, where where they have major Chinese companies or what have you, um, obviously, blow it up with micro microtransactions and just have a very bare bones game. This experience was much deeper than that, so I'm gonna say like, I would buy this game. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that was, that was, this is, the, this is only the Alpha 2.2 demo. Remember that. So whatever, if you thought that this game was polished based on this footage, um, there are only more things to look forward to in the future, which is really cool. <laughs>